the devil wants to play his card game, he's gonna have to play without an ace in his deck. Yeah! Yes, I love when I make references right. nobody knows except for me. Oh, Man of Pearl, we, that was we, amazing. That was we love amazing. those references that no one understands. Here's Shut a reference up. people understand now. It's day of the 12 days of Christmas, 2017. Woo. Yeah, Happy yeah, 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 yeah. As you've seen from the title and the thumbnail, it is obviously that. One of my favorites, if not the favorite day of the 12 days of Christmas, it's Cards Against Humanity. And here is some of my closest, nearest and dearest people to me. I'm Vacant. There's Manimal somewhere. Hi. There's Corin. Hi. There's Malua. Welcome back, Malua. Hello, I have a cold. Don't mind my shitty voice. Aww, oh, she's not 100%, but... 50% Malua is more than most we can ask for, and I can't fucking speak today. And finally, rounding out the cast, also someone who's not at 100%, it's Lego Maestro. Yes, I am the most that you can ask for. Yes. All yeah. I love Christmas is you, Lego. All hail the Chuny armpit. If I wake up in five days and you're nestled under my tree, Lego, I'll be a happy, happy boy. All I want for Christmas is no hangover but i don't think santa will give me anything that i want i feel like that's a personal choice you have to make for yourself <laughs> yeah maybe by not playing you can't the buffalo santa game. for that one buffalo lego buffalo no <laughs> make it, we're not gonna kill him right now uh, pardon me we are playing cards against manti okay that is five verse. i still blame you for that on Manable. you can't see the deck unfortunately because we're not capturing it but don't worry we will describe it in detail and Hi. say what we're gonna do there are some Christmas cards in here. Let's start this fucking game. Who is Card Are you are? serious? I am the Card Czar. Here we go. Oh, it... <laughs> Lego always says he is a poor war orphan. If this is true, what resource was the great Malawian war fought over? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are fuckers, you know that? You guys... You guys are motherfuckers. Are you serious? This did not just happen. Fine, thank you. So thank you guys you. can uh, choose any of your white cards. You should all have you ten guys are the choices. Absolute bastards. Once again, that was Lego. Always says he's a poor war orphan. If this is true, what was the what resource was the Great Malawian War for? Over our answers are, are in. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the answers. What's the great resource? Chuny armpit tickle bondage dusion. <laughs> I feel like that may have been a white card. Um, oh an unhealthy God. obsession with Moe girls, which is also frightfully uh, fitting. Getting mistaken for being gay. Or Are gallons of whale cheers. <laughs> are you serious? Now, only, are two you of serious? These, only two of these are actual resources. <laughs> I mean, I... gallons of whale cheers is, is a resource. Um, and I guess the Dujan is also. I do enjoy an unhealthy obsession with Moe Girls. And um, would you start a war if someone mistook you for being gay, Lego? Well, Africans would. I mean, Africans I, would, would. I would kill them, not start a war, but you know. Just because it gives me, just because it's topical, I've got to go with it. Chuny Armpit Tickle Bondage Dujan gets the win. Yay. Those lies Word were not. Goes to. The Tingle Grinch. The Tingle Grinch. The Tingle Grinch, which is Manimal. Oh, hey, here we go. <laughs> the worst thing about Vacant, the fact, the fact that he didn't pick my card last round for starters, but... Oh, okay. yeah. Let's, uh, you know, all is fair. It's not... Whale Jizz was a close one, I wish. Whoever had that one, you were... Just just know you were um close. But not uh, close enough. Not close enough. Uh, oh... Now you have to pick the worst thing about yourself. This is Dr. Phil hour. I know. Oh, I blank <laughs> All right. Here are some terrible things about Vacant, but which is the worst? Having a main protagonist hairstyle, waddling naked like a penguin, <laughs> <laughs> butt vacuum, or gratuitous fan service. All of Vacant was uh, hips. I mean, I do love to get my, uh, I do show a lot of skin, let's be honest, over the these times. <laughs> Only because These what cuts, I was on a podcast complaining about the fact that the barber had cut your hair just a little bit <laughs> too short. You're gonna have to go with the main <laughs> hairstyle. Oh. Boom! 
Henry. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, Corin takes it. You, you do I mean, have a hairstyle, though. I mean, if you're a protagonist hairstyle, a come people, on, man. No, a lot of people would say that my hair is the worst thing about me. <laughs> so. uh, it's oh. pretty bad. I'm, I'm, I'm the card <clears throat> ZR. Don't stop us now. The moment of truth. We were born to make blank. Does anyone know what this is from? No. No. It this sounds is... incredibly familiar, but no. This is the theme song of Yuri on Ice. Don't oh, stop shit. us now. No. No, true. We were born to make. And then it's normally history, but let's see what it is. Yeah. Born to make what? Did we get bonus points if it rhymes? Oh, I my mean, God. If only if it's good. I picked ones that are good. I think it might what? have to be three syllables. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Don't stop cake. us now. The moment of truth. We were born to make Kaijo. Vacant losing a recording <laughs> again. A good old fashioned orgy or walrus <laughs> balls. That is a tough one between the last two. A good old fashioned orgy. What I think, the fuck? Yeah, that makes here? sense. We were born to make a good old fashioned yeah. orgy. Oh, Corrin. Damn it. Corin takes it. <laughs> Corin, you dirty creature. I was going to say that's the, the one that goes. That's the it's one okay. That I'm blowing my load of good cards now. And I am now the card czar. Oh. oh, good. My yandere face looks like blank. Are you the car czar? Okay, um, <laughs> hopefully you remember this one. <laughs> this is a bit... Um, a oh, from... I had a great card for this. Goddamn. All right. <laughs> My yandere face looks like three men in a suit, one head at the top, one face poking through the chest, and the last one poking through the zipper of the pants. <laughs> great call back what? to the wedding episode. What? What? <laughs> My under face looks like a blue waffle. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what is a blue waffle? Uh, I do not know that. Don't, 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 Google don't, it. Look it up in yourself. My under face looks like Harambe. Ooh. And oh, my yandere face looks like Ichigo Kurosaki. And because I am a meme lummy fuck, my yandere face has to look like Harambe. Oh, oh yeah. And... I wasted three men in a suit, one and... What I was going for with the blue waffles that y'all dairies are fucking gross. I agree. I That was my winner, personally. I am the card czar. Okay, coming up in the winter season, Dash at the Hot Springs is what we're most excited for. Blank at the Hot Springs. Oh, God. There could be so many things at the Hot Springs to look forward to. You know, a nice relaxing bath, a nice, uh, nice aroma... Oh, I hope I picked the right card. <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> coming, coming up in the winter season, lollies at the hot springs is what I'm most excited for. Is that Movie. the police knocking at your door right now? Hey. Police! <laughs> I saw a yeah. DEA raid this morning. No shit. Barry Goldman. Uh, Swapping bodies with your mom for a day at the hot springs. <laughs> that goes really well. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're assigned male at birth, swapping bodies with your mom is probably a great way to get into the women's room. Yeah. My God, oh. that's that's actually a really good like plot yeah. for a little comedy show. Ah, uh, but he picked Corin with Barry Goldman. Yeah, oh. Barry Goldman at the Hot Springs. He picked Corin, but he picked me, so it's a victory for me, I suppose. Barry Goldman at the Hot Springs. Oh, that'd be good. <laughs> the cat is currently trying to eat my my sister's food, so. Oh, I'll yeah. be on a pause for a second. Wait. No worries. Um, why Lego has rescued stuff from a, a actual cat, not a Nekomimi, I will read out this card. I make sure to always send my Christmas cards with a family portrait and a picture of blank. So it's the holidays. I'm sending my cards around to friends, family, neighbors, co-workers, managers. But it's not complete. No family portrait is not complete. Uh, attaching a picture of something else. Could it be Walrus Balls? Could it be Blue Waffle? Could it be all three? Well, no, I can't imagine that monstrosity, so please, oh, yeah. you know. It's a very contentious relationship you have with your family if you attach a picture of a Blue Waffle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. I make sure to always send my Christmas cards with a family portrait and a picture of Dwayne the Rock Johnson. A picture of lowly bait, whatever that is. I guess is that baiting lowlies in, or is that no, bait no, no, Lego? Come on, Bacon, you know what that is. I make sure to always send my Christmas cards with a family portrait and a picture of John Cena. <laughs> or blind men jousting with rocket launchers. <laughs> no, no, God. No. Um, 
I am going to have to, because everyone knows I'm a sucker for it, I'm going to have to go for the one, the only, John Cena. John Cena! Oh, stop, John stop Cena. voting for Corin. Oh, God. Yeah, Corin is on a roll. Four points to Corin, two points to Manimal, and the rest of us on a big fat goose egg. All right. Damn, and I just got an amazing card for this. What best describes the cast of the happy hour? <laughs> Again, we're looking inside at ourselves. We're looking for a deep meaning here today on Dr. Phil. It's funny because I overheard my mom listening to Dr. Phil earlier today. <laughs> yeah. Like, some guy had hidden the fact that he was smoking from his family and doctors for like 16 years, and somehow uh, no one smelled well, it. Well, I was gonna yeah. say, family maybe, but doctors? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mate, I suppose 16 years. Oh, oh great. <laughs> 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 all right, all of these are pretty accurate. <laughs> this is actually a pretty awesome accurate. lineup. Cut flaps, alcohol poisoning, reindeer shit, or metal interrupting what you're saying with a guitar solo. <laughs> the contraction for you are instead of what. Oh, uh, are we cunt flaps? Are we alcohol poisoning? Are we reindeer shit? Or manimal interrupting with a guitar solo? Again, like that would really just the essence of the happy hour. So we have to do it, Corin. Damn it, Corin. Corin is cheating right now. Corin, Matt, interrupting the same Corrin just has, like, the greatest cards. <laughs> Not me this time. Well, okay. I'm gonna make sure I don't vote for him with my telekinesis or my <laughs> my telepathy. No, telekinesis is when you like lift shit with your head or whatever. Whatever. If Corin and Blank had a love child, it would be Blank. Uh, Corin and Blank, they're sitting in that tree, and now they made a baby. What will it be? Nice little rhyme, mate. Yeah, I was, I was proud of myself. I didn't even intend that to be a rhyme. You're a poet, and you didn't know it. I you make a rhyme anytime. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If Corin and Krillin's missing nose had a love child, it'd be the Star Wars holiday special. Corin, <laughs> Corin and your mom had a love child, it'd be Misaka. Corin and Mikasa. shitty internet. What? Mikasa. Mika Misaka. <laughs> Why did I say Misaka? Because that's the other one. <laughs> yeah. The rail good girl. Gotcha, gotcha. If Corin and shitty internet had a love child, it'd be Sword Art Online. If Corin and Morgan Ooh. Freeman had a love child, it'd be Master Roshi creeping on girls. I really oh. want to see Corin have a child with Morgan Freeman, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank Christ that wasn't Corin. Oh, Corrin, that's but... Lego. Hell yes. I was Spider just fine. I tried to tell a story about how shitty Sword Art Online is, but okay. I got it. That makes Shut sense. Sword Art Online yeah. did not come from my genes. Yay. Give me some credit. <laughs> yeah. I am the cards are. If I see blank in an anime, I know I'm going to be instantly hooked. What is going to instantly hook me in an anime? Oh, okay. Well, I feel like I know your tastes quite well in terms of anime. If I see premature ejaculation in an anime, I know I'm going to be instantly hooked. If, oh. I, uh, if I see a skating Lauren review in an anime, I know I'm going to instantly hook. You okay, Lego? Lego's fell over. Lego? <laughs> Lego? I'm here. Sorry. All right. If I see... Uh, sitting by the window at the back of the classroom in an anime, I know I'm going to be instantly hooked. <laughs> That's not true. That's every anime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if I see hardcore chuny armpit tickling with feathers, whipped cream, and pizza oils, pizza oils? In an anime, <laughs> I know I'm going to be instantly hooked. And because it's the in-joke of the day, it is hardcore chuny armpit tickling God feathers. Damn it, man. Yeah. yeah. You bastard. Where did you get all these blood cards anyway? I, I got two I right away, that. yeah. There's 30 in there, although in the grand scheme of things, that's not many. Okay, uh, this year the Queen's speech will focus mainly on... What will it be? What will the Queen be discussing this year? I mean, it's been a big year, you know, a lot of shit's happened. There's a royal wedding <laughs> on the horizon. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh, look at that! <laughs> this year the Queen's speech will only focus mainly on the book of Nekomimi. <laughs> Wait, there's two Negomimi things here. Okay, Negomimis, the book of Negomimi, Maloa's pagan shrine, or Manimal's terrible Irish accent. Wait, <laughs> Manimal's <laughs> terrible Irish accent. It's so bad the queen's had to address it. <laughs> Hello, queen. <laughs> yeah. 
kiss the barley okay. stone. I would like. I I mean I have been keeping this under wraps, but Nekomimi Pasta has been invited as a guest segment for the Queen's speech on Christmas yeah. Day. When I say I'm working, that's what I'm doing. Okay, I'll be sure to tune you know in. Because it is the first yes! time I've shot my eyes. Uh, oh, Bacon <laughs> got a saving point. That. Finally claims a point. Woo! It was, it was, it was there. It was already yeah. there. As it stands, Nekomimis takes it. Who would have guessed? As it stands, Corin is in first with five points. Uh, the Tingle Grinch, a.k.a. Manimal, is in second with third. Me and Lego are tied for third with one point apiece, and Malua is still on zero. But this is the perfect time to get a point, because I am the cards are. And your phrase is, every time a bell rings, an angel gets its blank. As we all know, famous for uh, It's a Wonderful Life, this quote. Heartwarming film. Haven't watched it this year yet, but, you know, one of my faves. <laughs> okay. oh. <laughs> what is this card set? <laughs> Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its Ichigo Kurosaki. Fair enough. Kind of, I guess Soul Reapers are sort of kind of deaf angels. Uh, every time a bell rings, an angel gets its nair bonds. Everyone needs a nair bonds in their life, even angels. I'm keeping them all to me. Slightly darker, every time a bell rings, <laughs> an angel gets its slave elves. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I can hang this shit up. Send these elves, go do some of this work. And last but not least, Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its gender fluidity. <laughs> Just waiting for the gender fluidity to kick in any day now. Yeah, I, got, I, I mean, I've, I've rung enough bells and I'm still pretty feeling, you know, static. Do you know what? Just because it sounded amusing to say, it's gender fluidity. Oi! Malou gets a point! Malou no. is on the board. God damn it. I you know it was slave elves. Kurosaki. You know it was Ichigo Kurosaki. God damn it. It's okay, I can't get a second point right now because I'm Zar. I'm going to start writing my new light novel. It's called Blank. This isn't. This didn't end the way I wanted. <laughs> new for 2018. Uh, Malua's new light novel. What would it be about? It's in the works. Anime 2019, 20, or early 2020. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna play it safe. I love how the subtitle is "This didn't end the way I wanted." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, oh, wow. hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, my new light novel is either going to be called "Dildo Alarm Clock." This didn't end the way I wanted. A large floppy penis. This didn't end the way I wanted. Death Buku. This didn't end the way I wanted. Or words and more words. This didn't end the way I wanted. <laughs> All of these oh, tell a completely different story. This needs to be a quadrilogy. I know, like, they're all individual stories and it has to end with the same like, <laughs> yeah. Just because I heard a hilarious joke about a ma magic dildo, I'm going to have to go with uh, the dildo alarm clock. Dildo yes. alarm clock is the, is the clear choice there. You dirty creature of the night! Because the way that the joke went was like, you would have to say magic dildo and say what you wanted it to do. And um, a guy had gotten it for his wife while he had to go on a business trip because he didn't want her to cheat. And, like, she couldn't figure out how to turn it off because he never told her. So here she is swerving around the road trying to go back to the sex shop that he got it from. And the police pulls her over. And she tries to explain, like, yo, my husband got me this magic dildo and it's, it, it's acting up. I can't get it to turn off. And the guy just goes, huh, magic dildo? My ass. Oh. <laughs> that was a good one. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. But all right. We got... I, like, I just imagine that with the alarm clock. Yeah. So all the family were surprised when Vacant brought out his blank to entertain after Christmas dinner. This would have been a good time for the dildo alarm clock, too. <laughs> Imagine you've just put your plate, like your knife and fork down, and you're like, I'm stuffed. Shall we have some games? Well, have I yeah. got a decent game? Right, right after the communal shit, it's time for dildo alarm clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I didn't get a chance to update the, the new deck with... The traditional um, Finnish communal after Christmas, Christmas Eve dinner shit. Yeah. Oh, damn. 
If I get a blank card, that's going yeah. in. Okay, he brought oh, he brought out his space jam on VHS. It doesn't. I need, to, I need to hear He brought out his manimal. Oi, that doesn't sound like me. <laughs> he brought out his Nairbonds flexing in a blue swimsuit or his Chuni <laughs> armpit hentai collection. I mean, it has to be Chuni that is, armpit that is again. A, and that, that is, is cool. oh, damn it! I take, take it back. back. Yeah. I take it back. Corin, you bastard. <laughs> I have a Nairbond flexing on call at any time. Yeah. All right. Okay. The cards are. Blank is surely better than blank? Question mark. <laughs> I think I'm gonna. Yeah. I just. I'm gonna tell a nice story. You tell a nice one. Need some creativity. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Netflix. And chill is surely better than wearing cat ears and shouting meow. Oh god. Clearing a bloody path to Walmart with a scimitar <laughs> is surely better than Jesus coming back and telling us his birthday is March 6th. Is it? <laughs> is it? <laughs> what the hell? Overweight cosplayers is surely better than severely handicapped boys? Oh no. <laughs> okay. And Barry Goldman is surely better than Manimal getting preachy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They're all good. <laughs> They're all good. Although, because uh, it made me laugh the hardest. Uh, clearing a body path through a Walmart with hey, a scimitar yeah. is clearly it's better than Jesus coming back and telling us. Works now. Yeah. Yeah, you must kill before Jesus comes and corrects us. <laughs> <Yeah>. Please do. <laughs> okay, I am the card saw. Now, Corin's next engineering project will be to erect a monument for... Ooh. Not like a retirement home. Disgrace myself. Or be disgraced one way or another. Oh yeah, because you got to pick what your next project is going to be. Oh I wait, do. yeah. Yeah, you got to think carefully. Lego, were you on the road? Oh, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. So, your next project, Corin, is going to be a monument for panty shots, a trash bag of vomit stained jeans, motherfucking handshakers, <laughs> or a right hook for one punch band. You know, just because I am personally quite interested in this theme. No, wait. Interred in this thing. Damn it! What's the you know language what you can for? Say yes, I've experienced this. Anyway, yes. I've experienced it. He's experienced a trash bag of yeah. vomit stained jeans. <laughs> He's directing a monument for Nairbon's experience. Uh. Yes. That's why he hates Chicago. I got the points, so it is six points. Corin, four points to mm, the Tingle Grinch, two points to Malua, two points to Constable Colossal Cock, and one point to Lego Maestro. My New Year's resolutions are to quit smoking, lose some weight, and make sure I enjoy blank every single day. What am I going to enjoy? I already quit smoking. I'm going to lose those pounds. It's fine. And then I won't be an overweight cosplayer. I'll be a severely handicapped boy. Um, so what else am I going to enjoy in this life? In this 2018? Let's find out. Let's find out. Manimal's working hard. He's cooking up a card. It must be a blank one. It's taking him time. There we go. <laughs> How did I know? So my New Year's resolutions are to quit smoking, lose some weight, and make sure I enjoy producing tuny armpit tickling fiction featuring mini donuts and hamburger ball gags. <laughs> to make sure I enjoy Sheriff Big Ball. You enjoy yourself? And make sure I the enjoy references that have been collected enjoy... over the years, man. My God, just stained hentai manga every day, <laughs> each and every day, accumulating jizz as more and more as the year goes on. And finally, enjoying another fucking lost episode. <laughs> every day. Okay, I couldn't endure another lost episode because I hate them, so yeah. that one's out the window. Can't do that. Uh, I am Sheriff Big Balls. I get to experience that, <laughs> so it's okay. I mean, today I'm Constable <laughs> Colossal Clock, Cock, but you know, um, Jizz Stain Manga. Oh, I mean, as much as I love me some Jizz Stain Manga, uh, Hentai Manga, sorry. I think my passion in 2018 lies in producing my own Chuny Armpit Tickling Fiction featuring mini donuts and a hamburger ball but gag. <laughs> no, so it's got to gotta be that one who takes the crown Ooh. and that's the tingle grinch with five points you know i think now's the time to stop the chuny armpit joke 
But this one's an imported one that's coming next. It's been played a lot. There's always the question of, what is the true meaning of Christmas? Right now, well, we'll decide. Deep... What is the reason for the season? Is it Jesus? Is it Coca-Cola? What is it? Or is it more shitty fucking armpits? Well, you know, <laughs> that's up to someone to decide. It can't be more tuny armpit, surely. It's been running to the ground. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's run, been running to the armpit. Oh, boy. All right. What is the true meaning of Christmas? God's undying hatred for Kansas. <laughs> Fair. Making more shitty armpit jokes and running it into the ground more than Rip Castro. That is amazing. That is actually amazing. Up on free wine at a cheese board party. Or no. Kind of. A tradition. <laughs> Just because we did say no more chitty jokes, we're gonna have to go with getting fucked up with the free. God damn it! <laughs> no, that's the. Oh, <laughs> no. No, that's that's the probably... shit that my friends do though. So that's. I was gonna say that's closest to what actually happened to Christmas. Yeah, that's true. So... That's true. <laughs> it is well, the closest. No, Christmas Fuck is just for Kansas. Again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No Christmas for Kansas. No, I am the, the card sizzler. I totally ship blank with blank. Oh, you know, maybe you can do something about shipping crates. I work on the docks all the time, going to to freaking all these places. Uh, I'm on the great to be a bad I'm one. on the New Jersey docks at the boardwalk. Uh, I don't, I don't like this one. I don't like this <laughs> okay, I, like I totally this ship one. old man laser eyes with cowboy nair, vacant with I old like Luffy de monkey, vacant smooth dolphin hips with a sailor fuku uniform. Knee girls with machetes with OJ Simpson. Yeah, that's an obvious choice. I don't have to think twice about that one. <laughs> and vacant women. You know, yeah. every, everyone ships knee girls with where machetes did, with OJ Simpson. Machetes come up in this. <laughs> oh, oh boy, that was an old card I forgot about. <laughs> Not hailing from America, can somebody please tell me just what Black Friday is all about? Blink. That's one of the only two Americans on the podcast. <laughs> Never mind. Well, you see, it's it's funny to me because when I'm talking about Black Friday, I'm talking about something completely different. I'm talking about that beautiful ass fucking goth woman on YouTube who is the greatest positive role model ever. Hell yeah. What is Black Friday about? It is about frick. It's about naked oil wrestling. It's about <laughs> the Grinch's <laughs> musty cum stain pelt. Oi. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> A pant tearing, sound barrier breaking, unholy smelling fart. God. Ugh. I think one of these is funny and two of these are too much. <laughs> Ugh. One, God. Or two of these actually kind of summarize what Black Friday, what happens and what the general feeling of Black Friday is. Yeah. I'm going to. I think what really is metaphorically the uh, truth behind Black Friday. Is though naked oil race. God, yeah! <laughs> Back in the day, they just you know they go into Walmart and, and they'd get all oiled so up and ready. To be a human. Where's the lie? But I'm glad that I got a point. Okay, oh, so I you kept the fart card for this one. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Wow, this one is going to be a bad one. The smell of blank always reminds me of the holidays. Do not go with chuny armpit stink. Oh fuck! I just had a blank card. I could have said that as well. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Okay. The oh my of... god. Oh. oh. A manga reader oh. sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I need the context for this. Okay, the smell of the Hawaiian goddess couple and her flying detachable fudge. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Fuck these cards, man. Like, I don't believe I have to read these out. Okay, the smell of taking down Santa with the surface to air Missa always reminds me of the holidays. That is pretty cinematic. The smell of a stained hug pillow always reminds me of all it is. <laughs> you know, I always have to speak the truth of my of my heart. I, and, I won, uh, but I had not the best answer. How can you not go with a flying detachable badge? Yeah, Seriously. Uh, there was no victory in that choice. There was <laughs> absolutely no victory there. To be no had. victory. Corin is still leading with the seven. But was... The tingle gringe is right behind him with six. I am in third with three points, and Malua and Lego both have two. And here is your next one, ladies and gents. It's far more likely we'll all get blank before we get Kingdom Hearts free. 
which is tentatively saying it's going to be out next year. No one believes that, but, you know, we can live in hope. Is Kingdom Hearts 3 as bad as Half-Life 3? (laughs) Oh, God. I think we all went to the same place. I I love how there's a progression going on. And then the end of it just summarizes everything that was just said. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> it's a narrative here, so it's far more likely that we'll all get Bukake before we get Kingdom Hearts 3. We'll all get masturbating furiously to lowly volleyball before we get Kingdom Hearts 3. We'll all get a gender-fluid orgy, and we'll all get the worst manga imaginable. So yeah, that's progression. I mean, this is a sneak peek into my uh, new novel that I'm writing. I'm just going to let you know. Starts with bu- Bukaki, the middle is Lumpy, and then we get to Gender Fluid Orgy. Which is mm. conveniently also the name of his light novel. A Gender Fluid Orgy. <laughs> um, which one is most likely to happen? I mean, I'd probably I'd probably get the worst manga imaginable before I get any of the above. Ooh. So that's gone to Malua. Yay! It's because it's the most realistic. I probably won't get into any orgies recently. Oh boy, this could have so many shades of meaning. Instead of Secret <laughs> Santa, this year we all just did blank together. Don't go with tickling <laughs> chuny armpits. <laughs> Please, I need that card. We've we've gone past that. You say that, the and then it's going to come up. The ground. It's going to come up like three more times. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't got anything for this. <laughs> oh. oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of Secret Santa, this year we all just did Pokemon Go together. We all just did Harry Potter and the Glorious Stone Dike together. What the hell? We all just did the entire city of Chicago together. Death by Snoo Snoo. Or this year we all just did a potato together. Ooh. Are you serious? We just did a potato. We, we just went did in on it. I feel like the entire city of Chicago is just a hilarious place. No, have... of course. <laughs> no. It's the best it's answer. Right. It's the best Why answer, but not Cora. The entire city of Chicago. Yeah, it's just like, okay, guys, we're not going to spend $5 on a gift this year. We are going to fuck every man, woman, and child that exists in Chicago. <laughs> Maybe not the children, but you know what I mean. Yeah. It... If I had the the Shering, Sheringan. Oh, the, why is this card? Oh, this know. is the worst card in this game. Yeah, this is literally a terrible, up. terrible card, but we have to deal with it. If Remind I had... what Sharingan does again? The Sharingan is the power in Naruto that the Uchiha clan has and Kakashi. It basically, they can see... They can kind of predict your movements and it allows them to do... I can't remember now what's it do. They have like special powers and shit with it, but it's like you can predict their movements, you can see things, you know, you can you know, all that shit. It's like a special eye power. You can copy jutsus. Very helpful. Yeah, if I had special eye powers that are cool, what would I look at? I would look at ooh, gender fluid bronies, <laughs> Kaijo, a yandere cutting your fingers off, or the way yes, Bleach yes, ended. Yes. I can't yes, tell and if. Yes. The gender fluid ones are all cards that we've made up, or if they're in the original deck, or if they're just blank cards, because there's too many. I don't know, there's so many. But if I had the eye powers, I would look at gender fluid bronies. Because you can see the gender fluidity in them. Like, you can just tell the bronies, even if there's no outward signs, you could just be like, brony. I know that. I am the card czar. I wasn't a fan of the first movie, but I sure can't wait for Ghost in the Shell to... Semicolon? Blank. Okay. I wasn't a fan of the first movie, but I'm sure I can't wait for Ghost in the Shell 2. Oh, Vacant saying erm a thousand, <laughs> a million times. <laughs> Break it up. Ghost in the Shell 2, a depressing reminder that we're all edging ever closer to death. That Ghost sounds like Shell... a legit title for Ghost in the Shell. <laughs> <laughs> it does, though. Ghost in the Shell 2, a shuni major getting their armpits sniffed and licked after. Uh, after a hardcore. You can tell fight. when I didn't make the card because it's not as good. Ugh. Ghost in the Shell 2, building a wall and making Mexico pay for it. I don't think we put that one in. But uh, I think I, I really have to go with a depressing reminder that we're all edging ever closer to death. Well, hey, hey Lua gets a point. It She's actually bringing up sounds the rear. like a Ghost in the Shell thing. Like, <laughs> really just, yeah, really. <laughs> it's so... It's actually legit, to be fair. Oh, okay, guys. Card, you get to decide my favorite. This one favorite. is quite personal. So, Manimal's favorite anime... <laughs> This is too obvious. You know what? I'll just choose what I think. Is you gotta read answer. it. You gotta read it. Read the card. Animal's favorite anime features: blank, 
dressed in suggestive maid outfits. I will choose what is logical here. So yeah, you got to pick for me. You know me, Lego. You listen to a lot of my songs. You know me. Yes, I have a Skype <laughs> avatar. We all have like hits the same card. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's there's one answer here. Don't it, you I, dare I go with a chuni showing her armpits. I wasted my um, I wasted my kaijo at, uh, card a while oh. ago. Oh, hell <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Just God damn it! Both, both the love live idol groups suggested in suggested made outfits. Okay, guys, that is really strong. Nekomimi is dressed in suggested made outfits. That is my personal like. I know Manimal likes Mineko Mimi's too. <laughs> yeah. Unknown Canadian musicians dressed in suggestive outfits or bikini warriors dressed in suggestive made outfits. I would love that. Would but unknown ask... Canadian musicians include himself? Oh. Oh. God damn uh, Lego, you went with the wrong how? choice. The right choice should have Corin, been unknown Canadian musicians. Ah. Okay, Corin is on nine points. He's one away from winning. Malou has really bought up the rear, and she's five points now. Uh, five points. She's on five points. Manimal's on six. I'm on three. Lego's on two. <laughs> Who is best suited be to fill the role of, of Santa game. Claus this year? Who is best suited to fill the role of Santa Claus this year? So who... I mean, what characteristics would you need to be Santa Claus? You need to be jolly. Red nose. You need to get in and out very quickly, like Batman. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stealth as well. You need high levels of stealth to not be detected. Um, you need to be strong. Okay. Um, speaking of strong... <laughs> Only one, one of these is a real thing. <laughs> Who is best suited to fill the role of Santa Claus this year? Tuxedo Mask. Matt Damon. Fucking Matt Damon. <laughs> get that card out of here. Um, that card is unfair. Unnatural amounts of muscle, which... We just said just, it was strong. Is it just laying there, though? The, the natural <laughs> mass of muscles? Yeah, there's no... Flopping there's no, around. There's no skeleton. <laughs> with, like, a little Santa hat with a pom-pom to it. Oh, oh yeah. It just looks like a butcher's counter or something. It's like, there you go. Ho, 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 children. Once I grow a skeleton, I'll be around the fingers. <laughs> Not that I, I lack the ability to speak. <laughs> this is a terrifying film. Oh, finally... Black vans. Not a person, just a van. <laughs> just a fleet of black vans. Which personally, I think that's called Maximum Overdrive. I would like to see uh, delivering presents yeah. as black vans. Oh, no. Just, yeah, Maximum fleet of Overdrive. Black yeah, plenty of happiness to Christmas. <laughs> if you get into blank, it'll always lead to blank. If you get into dipping your balls in glitter and jiggling them at a stranger's face, it'll always lead to their buns. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. If you get into milk with some sweet boy girl's press, it'll always lead to social links in real life. I don't know no. if that's true. No. If you get I mean... into Basso Gakuen Hunter x Hunter or HX. No, it's just HX. Yeah. It's yeah. just HX. That's weird. It'll always lead to 9 11. Wow. Yeah. I agree. Does. Exactly. If you get into gender fluidity, <laughs> it'll always lead to putting your foot down on the neck card. Uh, what a dick pie. Put your Damn foot it. down on that dick pie. <laughs> this is an interesting selection, but I feel like most of you just didn't have good cards to put this question. I don't know. The first one's pretty good. I'm going to have to go with the weirdest one that led to social link in real life. Hey. Yes. This is actually my personally, scientifically very... No, not scientific. No, don't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, guys. You know, we're going to talk about America for a little bit. Blank only in America. You know, what's exclusive to those guys over there? What do they got? What do they got boiling and cooking down there? What's cooking in their pot today on Martha Stewart or Rachel Ray? I do say. Okay. Leaving the Paris Agreement <laughs> only in America. A Yuri character <laughs> trying to rape another girl, but it so being okay be because they joke. both have vaginas. That That makes sense, but that's not only in America, so no. Shit in a it's shopping like mall, that. only in America. Or Vacant's annoying voice, which is not in America. So I'm going to go with the only one that makes sense, leaving the Paris Ooh. Agreement. <laughs> because literally... Two... Kind of scared for that. Yeah, Was cause... that a blank card, or is that one that I just <laughs> made? Look at it's in here. That must oh, there's nice. again. Oh, like, well, yeah, because oh, number two, yeah, number two is Japan, number four is UK, so... Oh, damn. All right, uh, we're going to repeat. My Yandere face looks like blank. 
Did I have this card last time too? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just deal with it. Sometimes it'll people be fine. Have different faces. Oh. Right. <laughs> okay. My undare face looks like a burning sensation when taking a pee. They could line up. My undare face looks like giving the last ten percent of a blowjob. Oh, oh, that's God. a good one. I remember talking about no, that. It was like calculated in percentage. My undare face looks like gay vampires. <laughs> My Yandera face looks like titty hypnosis. Hell yeah. But let's be honest. I think my Yandera face is going to line up the most with having to give the last 10% of a blowjob. Yeah! <laughs> Game That's Vampires a... is the name of my new light novel, though. Where was that card when you needed it? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Game no. Vampires didn't turn out the way I wanted. To commemorate the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo, Japan is airdropping blank into unsuspecting cities. Well, I am looking forward to the answers to this one. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I will lose all my social standing as I re reveal them, even though there's been worse cards before. Okay. To commemorate the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo, Japan is airdropping Sherbert sure, ranting about copyright <laughs> into unsuspecting cities. A woof woof repeat piece <laughs> into unsuspecting cities. The cancer is Tokyo Go Fujoshi Brigade <laughs> in terms of suspected cities. A trash bag of vomit stained jeans. They're all pretty good, I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I am a very I'm at one trick pony. Uh, oh really? Blue is taking second place. How? Because I became unsuspectingly awesome randomly. Okay. This would be a good time to rev up some chuny armpits, but no. <clears throat> I am the card czar. Blessed are you, Lord our God, creator of the universe, who has granted us blank. Granted us something. <laughs> Oi. Blessed are you, Lord our God, creator of the universe, who has granted us a massage from Senor Baby Hands. <laughs> you really get into the tight bits. I mean, yeah. you know, strippers with anime girl names. Being yep. blind and deaf and having no limbs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but granted, is Kingdom Heart 3 finally coming out? That would be amazing. It would be amazing. It'd be so amazing that it is going to be my answer. The creator has blessed us with Woo! Kingdom Hearts 3 finally coming out and gracing us. And that was Malua. She's on 8 Malua, points now. Come on, Fuck. Malua. Why are you doing this card and shit now? Please. Oh, God no. damn it, this card again. This game needs an option. I had the shutting the gun. What would I look at? That's the question, guys. What would you look at with the sharing game? I know. I really wish I could get rid of this. In fact, I probably could get rid of this card. You probably could. If I had the sharing gun, I would look at. I'm just gonna. Depends on like what kind of shutting gun, because Itachi's can trap someone in a torture dimension for like three days. I'm just gonna choose this one. Fuck it. <laughs> Alrighty. I would look at Super Aids. Some little intertwining love stories featuring Hugh Grant, <laughs> stupid dance to caramel dancing, <laughs> or the tickling of soft Chudy's belly on a warm summer night. <laughs> <laughs> At least it you know people. that is the one. You know that is the one. <laughs> Feel like that Legos card. It's I obviously just... manimal. <laughs> but you didn't seem to understand about me is that I actually really like the caramel dancing song so far. No! Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, I like it too, though. Corrin takes best. the game. Yeah, he won this game. Nobody's allowed to win this game. Are you proud Corrin of yourself? Corrin wins. I'm so proud of myself. I feel like we need to go overboard and do a round of like five. A round of five. Okay. Okay. Hey, guys, we're back into the game now. Yeah, Corin was the winner of that one. We also have a very outdated one to start us with. Do we? I can't see it. Oh, wait, I'm the card star. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, if Donald Trump became president this year, then I'm voting for blank this next time around. Oh. If he comes president. Oh, can you imagine? Yeah, that'd be crazy, man. This is... Okay, yeah. we're back in, like, 2012, I guess. Wow, I can't believe it. That'd be weird. I mean, 2016 oh. would be correct. If Donald Trump became president this year, then I'm voting for a scathing Lauren review next time around. Um, or I might vote for Aaron Yeager crying like a little bitch. And finally, I might vote for Iro Manga Sensei for the next time around. It's gotta be Iro Manga Sensei. 
Oh, Ooh, early shit. lead for Corin. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. Corin, again. I'm bringing my A game this year. Yep. Good time to bring it. There really should be a holiday in honor of blank. <sighs> Who needs a holiday? A I mean, holiday in the sun? Uh, no, a holiday in, the, in, in honor of like, sun. Like a day after. I want to so, you know, see you get, like, some history. Is Lincoln Day a thing? I mean, there's President's Day, but that's Lincoln and Washington. Ah, okay. There really should be a holiday in honor of alcohol poisoning. Yes. It's called Christmas. <laughs> that was called George of July. Um, yeah, oh, wow. my Sweet. smooth dolphin hips deserve a day of recognition. It Fair has enough. its own song. My butt pop. Yeah. I pet that card as well. That's a bit okay. Sad. I am. I'm the sizzler. Deep down, we all want a hug pillow blank. You know, tell me what do we want deep down in our deepest of desires, instincts, and compulsive compulsions. I mean, I've picked because you're the cards are. I'm trying. Ah, uh, no, vacant. Don't go with it. The sound of me oh. going to hell. <laughs> Deep down, we all want a hug pill of Danny DeVito's Kirito. Anyone under the age of 13? <laughs> or Moogie. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I'm going with anyone under the age of 13. <laughs> no, hey. uh, I'm glad we have that sound clip. <laughs> well, because it's, it's, it's the funny one. Uh, What's the right. worst thing about Vacant? What is the worst thing about Vacant? This card loves to show up. This isn't fair here. <laughs> yeah, it's all about you, man. We, we really well, are interventing. There's so many bad things about you. We just got to yeah, that's what it is. Oh, what, the perfect one. What what is the worst thing about vacant? Milking some sweet moe girl's breast? I mean, that's a terrifying thing to do. Uh tentacle porn or is it vacant saying erm <laughs> 1 million times? And let's uh, be honest, it's him saying erm a million times. Yeah. Hey, it's not a terrible thing. It's always the is thing it? one to go with. If um, that's the worst thing about you, you got some stuff to go for you. Can I say um well, I've just said it. Uh, <laughs> when I edit, I say um that often that I know exactly what the sound wave looks like on Audacity. <laughs> I like, I can literally see it. So if I want to edit out all the ums, it's there. And I can just go, um. Oh, sorry, I'm the cards off. For some all reason, right. I have to keep refreshing after every round. Uh, you, What sounds like a euphemism for something gay? What sounds like a euph... That's a bit weird. So, because gay, There's you can't say... a lot say... of fun gay euphemisms, though. Exactly. What can we add to the annals of being <laughs> gay? Do you know what I mean? We need some fun choices. Um, could it be schoolgirls sitting and eating cake? He looks a bit schoolgirl sitting and eating cake over there. A Christmas stocking full of ginger pubic hair. <laughs> and finally, depressing reminder that we're all edging ever closer to death. <laughs> oh, how come he's not, um, he's never had a girlfriend and he's 30? I what? think he's a bit. I think he's a depressing reminder that we're all edging closer to death. Oh, is he oh, now? Hey? We're talking about someone we knew. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> just because I like the image of like someone going, "Oh yeah, are you um, you know, are you straight or are you a Christmas stocking full of ginger pubic hair?" <laughs> uh, I just like that oh. idea. <laughs> okay, but I feel like schoolgirls thinking of cake should have won because cake is another like oh, oh shit, yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. Mm. Keep sitting and eating some cake, girl. Yep. I ruined it. Should play it. I wish Malou had what got that. Card. Ruined the reputation of anime here in the West. Speaking of school growth, eating ass. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, this sounds funny. I've got the same white card a couple times in like the same hand. I think it's broken. <laughs> I think it is broken. I have to keep refreshing after every card I've played. I don't know why. It's being a bit weird. But never mind. I don't know, like, if other people have played this. I just have to keep constantly hammering the refresh button. Yeah. But it's fine, because I'm still here to find out what ruined the reputation of anime here in the West. Could it be Nebo's fetish for monster girls <laughs> shouting Bagkai at the point of ejaculation? <laughs> or the muffled <laughs> pleasure rang moans of a bound chuny as oh. the ring of the fine navel is traced over finely with a gloss fingernail? Oh. Who the hell wrote that card? You know who wrote that. <laughs> Is it the one who said he was going to stop yeah. writing those cards? If only 
like I can't choose it because you used fine twice in like the same two lines. Oh no, right I did too. Oh no. I'm going to have to say the fucking weavers did it. Yeah. Oh no. I mean, it's kind of true. Fucking weeaboos did do it. Only my language was better. Anyway, Lego promised to me blank to get into his black van. Oh. I have the perfect card for this. What, okay. He promised me love life, sunshine, more nipples, or finally hearing the end of Moogie X kick. <laughs> yeah, but I'm the one who wrote it, so why would I pick that card? You know? Because you can release it out to the world then. Uh, I gotta go with more nipples. It makes the most sense. Oh, damn. Woo! Damn, just like who just have them winning. there in the van? Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> hey man, I'm gonna check these out. <laughs> oh, I have the cards here, but we should point out that Malu has four points, Manuel has zero points, I have two points, and Vacant has a single point, which means Malu is one point away from winning. Oh shit. All right, uh, not hailing from America again. I'm getting the same black cards. Can somebody please tell me just what Black Friday is all about? Uh, it's about shopping and stuff i think shop shop i mean when we did our episode live from target in canada rip target oh, right. um we karate chopped anyone under the age of eight or over the age of 65 in the windpipe so that was our true meaning of black friday oh did, did we ever make a card called mr mosby's pleasure hotel because we need to <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> Oh, good. Uh... So, not hailing from America. Can anyone please tell me what Black Friday is about? It's about... <sighs> Deep breath. Remembering the day a Chuni walked through Walmart with her bare feet, walking over a wet patch, she trips and a fine fellow arrives to gently clean her toes, unlocking a new sensation for our fine lass. That ran off the card. <laughs> Thank you, man. I feel like that needs to be screenshot and made the icon of the film. Oh. Uh, the Done. true meaning of Black Friday is bondage, or it's uh, Putin's secret anime addiction. Okay. But, I mean... That's a tough one. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. I'm just going to close my eyes. This is going to happen by random chance, because I can't choose. And then your mouse flies off the screen, and you don't actually see <laughs> It's nobody! It's nobody. No one gets a point. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's bondage. Hey! That was me. That was me. And it's still... I'm gonna have to refresh. Uh, on me. Yay, there we go. Gross. As the loser of the challenge, you will have to do a hoedown about... Blank. <sighs> Not done many this year, except for Halloween, and I had to do one. Oh my god. That was the last time I wanted it. Okay. I mean, this could have been the last card of the game if Malua played it. It's, you know, perfect. As the loser of the challenge, you'll have to do a hoedown down about Japan in a dish pan. Or the way Bleach ended. Or a hoedown down about masturbating furiously to lowly volleyball. Don't know how you could get four verses out of that one. I'd like to try. Oh, different stages. A lot of edging. Well, I'm picking it. Oh, He's picking wins. It. Oh. You ended the game. You, that was a game changer. We, You know, Malua won. There we go. Uh, we're done. That's, yeah, that's, 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 that's a good hour. Done. Oh, man. Yes. Congratulations, Corin. Congratulations, Malua. You are the... <laughs> Both going to hell. That's your reward for, uh... We are the Chew Champions Christmas, I believe. I think the real champion is Chuny Armpits, but whatever. Yeah, Chuny Armpits has now been established. It's Nobody wins there. when Chuny Armpits is involved. Not really. <laughs> yeah, but it, it progressed, though. It, it was a narrative. Oh, yeah. Now her fine navel, and now her toes. Well, you know, Merry Christmas, everyone out there, and I hope you all enjoy... Tuny armpits, tuny toes, and tuny navels and belly buttons. So from all of us at the happy hour, until tomorrow, Merry Christmas! Bye! Bye! We out! <laughs>